I won my d a c h i And here is you, let's talk about the Adon Shoulder. I mean, Shoulder, that's good. It's just gonna keep going. Okay, it's a tier 9 German Lark Cruiser uh, that you can get from the Donkey Art from 0.11.11 to 0.12.0. I mean, kind of like that. I also for some reason I was having to keep on really high just because in the new setting way the entire room is different now so here it goes and I have to look at it a little bit but that's good that I'm just gonna look at the screen instead okay so one thing about this shit is any other large cruiser not really special just kidding it isn't really special that you have an extra turret in the back that has like 360 degree turning I mean yeah that turret is do 360 turn that's a good part yeah for sure I mean, otherwise, I mean, I'll be like, um, maybe not. No, 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 no. It's like, it could not. It's like, well, otherwise, keep going. Well, the giant speed like a battle cruiser, but the turret is a large cruiser. So here it goes. So most of it's gonna be a large cruiser style of it. So, what's the difference? So, we got a Shark Wars 6 right there. We got the, uh, shooter in the front, one turret in the back. And then you got Eager right here. That are the uh, sweet turn, two turn in the back, one turn in the back. But remember, six is different. You got it is not a large cruiser, but it's a battle cruiser. So, but the Eager is a large cruiser with a sweet, uh, sweet gun turret. So, yeah. And then you look at the room right there. Sorry, bro, you're not there, buddy. So, uh, sorry, my little girl. You have to sit right there a little bit to the room talking about you for a long time. So, let's talk about the ship. First, armor layout. I mean, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, you get that 190 on the side. On the bottom side, you got that 190. Another one on the top of the side. And then you got that 190 on the, the side armor. On the belt right here. And then you got the 27 in the front. 27 in those. Pretty much. And then you got that 40 on the, the bottom. That's what the pretty much a little smart computer style. I'm just kidding. It doesn't matter. So keep going. And you got an entire deck armor with a 30 meter protection with it. German style. And for the tail, you already know that. 27, and you get a follow one with a 40. There it goes. And then, you got a really follow one that is a complete protection with a 27 meter. That's pretty much all. Okay, super charger, just like other 16 meter. There we go, 16, 16. You get the follow of the super, the point tower right here. Got a 200, and then an 80. That's it. Okay, her armor. Oh well, man, they are kind of heavy. They are still fight, so well, they should have a free armor, right? Yeah, you got that 180 on top of the turret. You got the side armor 180. You got a front with steel five, and you got that 180 for the turret system. So here it goes. Okay, let's get a little citadel right there. Let's get the citadel out and feel it. So what we got? Right here. If you just turn the uh on the deck armor right here, right here with it. The side armor total together to the power right here. So it's gonna be in the middle. And a little bit on the top of the water, but uh, otherwise it's similar to German design that are kinda under the water. And maybe if you want to see the other thing, either you hit uh, the uh, armor belt with our 90 meter and hit it the sideways, or hit the straight line with a 190 and hit inside there in a straight straight line. So yeah. And then let's do the armor style on the city. You got a 100 meter on the front, you got that 60 on the top, and then you got that another 45 on the east side. There we go. And then you go up on the 40. That's it. There we go. Same for the back. Similar thing. 40, 45, 100, and then 60. So there it goes. I mean, it's all bad armor. I mean, yeah. Look at the turrets. I mean, the bottom of the front, I got the 145, so it won't get a turret knocked out most of the time, so it should be fine. So, yeah. Okay, so my ability! I mean, German design, the large cruiser should be having a little more hit points, right? Let's keep remember with the Eager right here. Eager, you got that 62 k And the Tinkery is a battle cruiser, so it's a little different. So you go, still got that 64 k And then you got that... The... I, I don't... Stromberg? That's what it's name. I'm just calling it Abram, why not? So you got that 59k. Our well, protection is 42% of protection, protection. So here it goes. And yeah, main battery guns. So, they're like other large cruiser. You got a steel 5 millimeter gun. Well, except the, uh, of course, except the Azuma. They have the C10 ones. So, there. 
Fucking guy! He got a CO5! And these are the dual gun turrets. So, I mean, you got a one turret with the two guns. You got two turrets in the front, two turrets in the back. Fourth turret can do 63 return. It means that's a good part, right? Yeah. I mean, it's just honestly, that's just doing normal turrets. That they don't do the 60 turns, so it's fine. Otherwise, it's gonna be a totally go over the hall for some reason. <laughs> okay. Fire range 18.5. Not even with six. Well, it's that, but I'm at range fail because I try to try out the real speed build. It won't work. So range is more effective for me. So gun style. You get a base real speed at 18.5, 18 seconds. Also, if you put the real mod on there after real mod speed increase, it will mostly become the 15.8, and then your gun range are base gun range at 18.4. So I like the gun range more. So. And uh, also, one thing that you may be wondering Why did the lot of secondary on top of it? I mean, it's a large cruiser Yeah man, you should have a, like a, uh, maybe a little bit less Well, there it goes So it's a battle cruiser whole design So uh, it's a, this is a battle launch cruiser gun So there it goes So, you got an anchor right here Anchor over here, you got that one single turret secondary type That is the uh, 128 murder And then you, uh, I screwed the wrong thing. And then stick free here, you get that single one, one twenty point eight murder secondary system. Just like other, just like Eager. Well, for the uh, other one here, you got two types. You got that standard 128, and you got, got that voucher style of the 150. It means you got that double style secondary. It means you get that really good reload speed, and the penetration, and close range. Not just that, we're gonna talk about that later, that you should build your ship as a secondary build. That's the reason why we're gonna talk about it later, but first, we can talk about that secondary system. So, that first, let's get to the, uh, Aegir. Since, uh, the green Aegir is pretty much the same thing, we're gonna go for the, uh, Aegir as the conversion of secondary. So, I'm gonna put a captain over here. We're gonna bring a stand of the captain with a bit mark here. A little bit mark, how's it doing? I mean, it will hurt you, right? I'm just gonna put a bill right here. So what we're gonna do is gonna go for a fire. I should just go for this, 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 this. Do everything. We're just gonna copy paste the entire skill, except the uh, captain, except the consumable one, because that's different. There we go. That's the finish. So, comparison. Tank on and secondary range. That's the difference between the other cruisers in secondary range. It means that you do got a German secondary range for. The the cruiser. So it means other one also have the same thing. We got that 10 car range secondary for the 2.9 seconds. Reload speed for the small caliber, and you got a 5.6 second with the big calibers. Well, but the anchor, it's pretty much the same thing. They should have the reload speed, right? Super one. And a little different speed, so yeah. So, I mean, I do actually want to say. Yeah. You do get a double type of caliber, I mean you could have double real here type of guns. It may be penetrating a little difference. But it also means that you do penetrate a lot of things too. Because you got 32 million penetrating for your small caliber guns, and you got that 38 million for the big caliber guns that are 5.6 seconds per cell. There it goes. And you also got that big one on each side. And then one in the back. Well, I did a part that you don't use the back a lot unless you're cutting it out, otherwise that thing just never shoot. I mean, it's a yeah, matter. Except you just don't have the one in front. Right, I'm thinking the one in the back. <laughs> Why do I have to bring the yamas right here? Well, let's do that. So, let's talk about the secondary system. Where, how many there are? So, we got a total of 10. Small one. Sweet on the big one. So, 5 on each side for the small caliber. And then, 1 on each side with the big caliber. And then 1 in the back with the 1 big caliber. So, here it goes. That's it. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, hello. I mean, you, you can see the secondary. Their plays are pretty good, so I mean, I like it. And those are most likely gonna be Titan. It means that those secondary work really well while we're tightening the ship. It means especially the, that you find two of them instead of one while you're going forward. So, there it goes. And then, let's keep going. I mean, the APHE, you already know that, because I'll see that for most of the so they're just German style. So, uh, if you look at Eager, let's pretty much look at this thing. So, okay. Death charge! The thing I hate about this ship, out of all the things, I hate this ship, death charge. Because it's not a point death charge, rather than just being a normal 
destroyer death charge. What a commit genocide? What if we want to get a dirt? Does the submarine get close to you? Yeah, let's go for it. They can't do anything while that submarine is gonna trope you in the face or just gonna top you in the long range. They can't do anything unless you just turn on a high trail. Otherwise, good luck for your literally can kill submarines while under the water. So, death charge. Screw this. I am not talking about this, but I still gonna talk about it. He got two charge. By the way, they're not point charge, they're gonna destroy charging. So it may I don't even know where they're gonna drop from. I might never raise it. Oh, right here. You see it? That's right here. Right here. Yeah, I look at the Jesus. Alright, well look at this damage charge problem. So, back to damage. 2.2. Number of charge. 2. Bombing charge. Hey. So I may get that 16 total. Very much after fire each cell also. Get your real speed, 40 seconds, don't even matter because you, the stuff you want, you won't get close to you because you're like, that German Hydro. I guess what, even you do be able to hit that somebody, you're almost gonna die. I mean, you keep hit that thing, right? So, uh, and then you get really close. Well, that's the part where we're gonna talk about that consumable, that's gonna help you a little bit. Just a teeny tiny, a little. Okay, it's just a, so, if you already know that the sanctuary is a lot of sanctuary on top of it, then you most likely know it is incredibly good. Oh yeah, definitely. Pending AA. German system style, you got that maximum of 332. So here it goes. Pretty much standing the damage time. Continue damage. So, long range, 147. Mid range, 287. Close range, 98. Pretty much the weakest one is the close range, but the highest damage is the mid range and the medium range. Are and the longer range of medium damage. By the way, all of them are except the close range is 90% hit rate and you fire for the close range. So, because they're kind of blind. Seriously, I mean, what do you expect? But like, really long range is close range shooting and you still can hit the points. I mean, it's fine, right? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, fire range is German style, 6 power range, 4 power range with mid range, 2 power range for the close range. But keep going! Can do uh, explosion damage 1.5. Okay, number of explosion salvo is six. I mean, that's bad. Trigger range 3.5 to 6 power range. Hit rate 90 percent. Not bad at all. I actually want to take that. Primary sector reformation is 50 percent. Instant damage is 3.5 per trigger. Activation 10 seconds. Recharging 10 seconds. There we go. And the uh, fire range is long range. Don't even talk about anything about it. That's your hydro range. So here it goes. Yes, there is your hydro range. German hydro. So here it goes. Okay. One of you think they about you the ship is the intercessor. Uh, by the way, does this is still the same? 34.1 seconds. Uh, 34.1 knots. I mean, look at the egg right here. I mean, it can go a little faster. So yeah, it, may, it, it means it gets more better, right? That means it's going really fast. She's a large, she's a large cruiser. It's going really fast. I mean, just like the Adam right here. I mean, so it goes smaller. It means it turns faster. Well, it turns more real, real smaller. While the, uh, the, uh, egg has a big one. It will have a better turning circle and turning time. While the, uh, Adam has, like, uh, extra two seconds. So, I mean, it's kind of slow, right? Well, we're gonna also gonna talk about that later in the consumable. So, yeah. Concealment! One thing that I love this ship is the concealable. I mean, out of all the glass cruiser, I like the Yoshino concealable, I like the uh, Azuma concealable, that's it. And the other large, like, large cruiser, I hate Azuma, I hate the Alaska, I hate the uh, I mean, I like the Eger, but not too much. I think the other French cruiser is large cruiser, so screw that part of it. It doesn't even matter, so yeah, they're pretty much just gonna bound the most again, so. I mean, out of all the cruisers, large cruisers, I just love those two. Well, now, I know those are my favorite one too, because that is my favorite play style. It's just, just good. Zero ten point two. I mean, I mean, yeah, Azuma got like 1.9, so it means that you get that good cover, fire rate, I got that good penetration, so yeah. Well, this thing is really good too. Not just that. Remember the part where we talk about the secondary? Yes! Your case here was a 10.2, and your secondary range at 10.0. It means when you spot down thing and enemy get to you, 
Well, the enemy your DD is for that DD, and now your DD is your concealment range. Good luck with that DD is gonna strip by your secondary and your main gun that hit really hard. I mean, it looks like you're only HE, right? So, uh, there it goes. And plus, not to fight one type of secondary, but two type of second for every 2.9 second and then every 1.6 second. I mean, the DD is gonna most likely blow up pretty soon. I mean, especially there's a radar help you a little bit that when the enemy DD smoke out in, in your secondary range, your team pop a radar, yep, that DD is dead, for sure. I mean, two games I played, I mean, I only played two games, pretty much, you see, like, two miles, my mouse here. Two games! I killed DDs! I killed DD my secondary! Cold score combat expert! First blood! And then uh, A expert! And then fire blood! Yeah, first blood, that's DD basically. Killed by my main guns, so no matter if saying the main guns are mostly a fire kill right there. So, but here it goes. I mean, you're a DA killer in the mid long range, and no matter what, another stat you got a high drill helping you dodge a torpedo. I mean, you can still get hit torpedo no matter what, so I uh, just my problem my guy skill is dropping down really high. By the way, you're just a good DA killer. Here it goes. I mean, you're a lot cooler, so I mean, you're a lot of risk, a little slower, but I mean. You still got to kill DD because you got good secondary. Here it goes. So, it's that part that you don't have a good secondary like a battleship. Because it's totally kill the entire skill for the uh, secondary. See, like you brought the old secondary back. Otherwise, this is a really good secondary build. Large cruiser. You consume it good, your secondaries are good, and then combine with your secondary build captain that allows you to make your really guns faster than your main guns. And your secondary is faster. So, here it goes. Okay. Let's get you the next part of thing that you want to know. Equipment, but first consumable. Consumable, standard, damage control party. And by the way, that's your death charge. I hate it. Seriously, why is it not points? Uh, okay, damage control party, 5 seconds. Real speed, then a cruiser at 60 seconds. By the way, that is with a black, so yeah, just screw that. Yeah. And then, the repair party, standard repair party. You got three charge. By the way, Captain Bill is four, so there it goes. I can charge is better for your survivability. And then, Hydro. German Hydro, six on range for your ship detection range, four column range for the torpedo spotting range. Activation time, 120. Recharge speed, two minutes. Not bad at all. But, one of the things that some large crew don't have it, well, except for the French one, but they don't even matter, they just, they don't keep, they don't even matter, I mean, yeah. Well, the other sort of, well, the different, the other, the other one, the TSM one, so, but that just didn't matter, because of that, the battle cruiser, so. It's your engine boost! Not just normal one! You got that 50% increase in the boost! I mean, it's that 5% less than the French one, but I, I will still take it! I do something like good, and there, and there is a ton of French one. So it means you get that full time in the booth of full game. Trigger that at the beginning game, you recharge it for like uh, almost like 2 minutes, and then you use it again. Here it goes, the full game engine boost where you go faster than the ATV. Just don't rush your cap. I mean, yeah, don't rush your cap. Please don't rush it for this thing, so uh, don't rush it. I mean, it's not bad. I like it. I like this thing. I like it. It's just a new style with an engine boost. So, now all of our things finished, let's talk about how you're gonna build this ship. How you're gonna play it. I mean, now you're gonna, you're gonna have to figure out that yourself. But uh, I will help you build a ship that we should go for it. First, Artillery Module 1. By the way, don't take the main battery in Module 1, things that you don't matter because you, you don't have a torpedo. And yes, one thing you didn't notice that I didn't talk about that thing because this is a torpedo. I mean, Edgar over here was very much the same thing, but they have an uh, extra torpedo that doesn't do anything but like this tall range. It's just a uh, protection torpedo. While the sick room over here, same right there. You got a six arm torpedo, same right there. So, uh, that was too bad for that. I don't mind, you don't have a torpedo, but I'm totally fine with it. I'd rather give out a torpedo for that engine boost. I want that engine boost. I want that speed. I want you to dodge the shell. I want you to go fast. I want you to hide out. Here it goes. Keep going. Then, now, in the boot location one, screw that really the hydro system. Doesn't matter. You want that in the boot to run the full game. So that 
really good to the whole game that is go for the maximum speed and enemies just can't hit you even though I still gonna die for two battle because uh I don't know it's because my own problem maybe I need to do the battle ship so okay you got slot three secondary module one do not take Mercury in module 2, do not take any gun in module 1, do not take any system in module 1. Oh, by the way, I forgot to talk about the gun system. Your guy actually is kind of bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the death of it. So, if it is, uh, it's kind of bad with it. So, come on, man. Yeah, it's fine. But uh, sometimes it's kind of disappointing, but uh, it's fine. Otherwise, take your module 1. That's what you need. Okay. Take a control module. Well, since you are a long cruiser, it means you're gonna burn really, really, really long time. I mean, you gotta repair party, right? So, but uh, you still can do that thing. Here he goes. Do not take propulsion mod one. Do not. Maybe you can take the stereo mod one because if you just want to do the control most of the game, then you take the stereo mod one just to get an extra turning speed. Do not take that charge in my wife, that don't help anything, so didn't do anything very much. Okay, concealment mod 1 for the slots for 5. I mean, that's the thing you need. You don't need that blowcast system. You don't need that steer gear system. You do not need that consumable system, consumable system mod 1. Here it goes. Then, the last block. This is for how you play it. You want that full power secondary, you can go for the artillery mod 2, by what this will look like. 2.3 second, and then you've got that 2.5 second reload on the big one. But you can also go for the main battery range. So you can have it fired all the game most of the time. Since your guns are kind of small than any other large cruiser. So yeah, I mean, without gun range, you just can't fire a gun most of the time. It's just pretty much you have that big dog most of the game. So, so yeah. But yeah, how are you gonna play it? You want that, you want that good range, you want that good secondary. By the way, uh, reload speed is not bad, but um, uh, I don't know, yeah, you can go for it, so, not bad, you pick out your uh, different how you play it, so, how you play it, you just go for it. And then, next, but not least, the captain build. First, gun feeder. So, one thing is that, this is a large shooter, I mean, you're gonna fire between A to AP with HE. So your fire speed for the uh, resistance switching is 2.8 seconds reload. So you may you get a little bit of kind of slow reload speed, but uh, it's good because if you see the frost light, shoot with it. If you see that bowing, shoot with an HE. There it goes. Now, consumable enchantment. So this helps you with your hydro and your engine boost at the same time. It's gonna help a lot. Or you can go for a little different style, focus fire training for your counter carrier. And if you want to why didn't see say some rain because I didn't do anything because uh it just don't do anything. And or you just go for that demo ex explorer expert right here because uh fire training so here or not. Okay, keep going. Last three, I do a rise, I'll wait take that. Should be done the extra repair, extra hydro, extra engine boost that you need the most. Slot 4! I mean, for a master of speed of First, top grade gunner. So, the reason I think you got is because that extra 10% reduction for your real speed was secondary. So, 10% faster. A little faster. And then, not the stats. Since your PCR range is also close to your secondary range, but 0 0.2 extra. It means that secondary if it triggers, you trigger that as secondary activation. Your real speed will increase 8% for your big guns. It means that it can help you a lot in full drink battle, so you get your big guns far faster. I mean, you get that out of one, I mean, it's fine, our number is good, but I'd rather say, top great gun is more effective. Then, radio location, just in case uh, that DD tried to sneak on you with a torpedo or a hydrous down. That can help you. Not just that, only it help you a little bit to get dodge, free dodge the torpedo. Since uh, you got an engine boost, so here it goes. Hey, you can change the DD with this thing. Do not try this again. Do not try to change the DD with this thing. It won't work. It won't work. <laughs> okay, then last but not least, consume an expert. Good. You already know that. Consume an expert. Put that 7.2. So, here it goes. 
And uh, yeah. So, what's my final grade for this ship? 8.5. I mean, I think I'm pretty good, except the dead charge. I think mean, dead charge is like killing it already. I mean, I'm really killing the game. Already, so. If you got that dead charge, you can stand it. It's true that the, the sword charging is this. Can you do anything? Go here, go. And that's losing one point. And then another 0.5 point loss is from the guns. Main guns. Yeah, I create. I guess it's not good a little bit, so. Yeah, but otherwise I'll still take it. So. 8.5 is my final grade for the ship. And what about dying? It's good. I do like this ship. And then also, last but not least, the horn. That's what the horn's like. Not bad, I guess. Eh, yeah, well. Okay, well. And, uh, well, let's see how long we can work with it. I mean, it's not a good, sh not bad ship, but, uh, what the hell are you gonna play it? I mean, it's not a bad ship, but it's also not a good ship just because you have to pay for it. I mean, yes, you gotta have to pay for the blood. So, it means, yeah. But, like, it's a good ship. It's a really good ship that you should learn how to play it. And there's a little way to play it in secondary. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Me, Fidashi, is out of you. Ah, finally I'm done with this ship. So I'll give it how to do some work. Seriously. The final week. There it goes. I made final exam. <laughs> how to die. Just let me do it how I want Yeah, here you go. I, I finally said the first bad words in this, in this YouTube. Well, see you guys in the next video. Me, Yashi, and Dalla Fuel. And still, the only one put that thing right here. What does that thing with us? I'm just kidding. Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> the end. <laughs> the end. Ah. Uh.